Hello everyone, it's Valerie from Wonderful Threads and today I'm going to show you how to hem chiffon or any lightweight fabric in two ways. First on the serger and then on the domestic sewing machine. So here is what you'll need. First you'll want to choose the right thread. I'll be using a 100 weight poly thread called Invisifil, which is going to blend really well in the fabric so you don't even see it. And because the thread is so fine, it will stitch more easily through the thin fabric, resulting in fewer puckers. Because the thread is so fine, we're also going to choose a needle with a smaller eye. Choose a size 8 or 10 Microtex needle, which will work best on light fabrics. Finally, I'm going to use a bobbin that's been pre-wound with Deco Bob thread. This is an 80 weight poly thread that comes already pre-wound on a plastic sided bobbin, which will pair well with the top thread. You can also wind your own bobbin with Invisibil thread. Just remember to wind it slowly since the thin thread tends to float away. If you're going to hem your fabric on a serger, obviously you won't use a bobbin, so you'll want to use a deco bob spool for your lower loopers. I'm going to use a three thread rolled hem with Invisifil in the needle and upper looper and deco bob in the lower looper. Consult with your serger manual and adjust the stitch length and cutting weight to get a close, narrow hem. Once your machine is threaded, do a test run on similar fabric to make sure your fabric is not puckering. You may have to adjust your differential settings to get a flat, smooth edge. Mark your hem with a disappearing marking pen and serge exactly along your marked line. This is the simplest method for a quick, fine hem on chiffon or similar fine fabric. If you want to hem fine fabric on a domestic machine, this two-step method will help you achieve perfect results. Mark where you want your finished hem and cut one inch below the marked line. Thread your machine with Invisifil on top and deco bob in the bobbin. Now you're ready to sew. Using my fingers, I'm going to tuck the edge of the fabric over one eighth inch below my finished hem length and stitch very close to this folded edge. I'm going to do this all the way around to the end of the fabric. If you're hemming a sleeve or a skirt, anything where your fabric is circular, I recommend starting and ending on the seam to hide the back stitching. When you're done, use a pair of sharp, fine-tipped scissors to cut away the remaining fabric as close as you can to your line of stitching without snipping into the stitching itself. Exercise caution so you don't accidentally snip into your dress fabric. Do this all the way to the end. Press all the way around to sink the stitches into the fabric and smooth any puckers. Once I've finished trimming the excess fabric and pressing, I'm going to tuck the edge 1 8 inch over one more time along my finished hem marking and stitch it down again over my original line of stitching to complete my rolled edge. If you have trouble tucking the edge over with your fingers and keeping the 8 inch length consistent, you can press the edge down with an iron before sewing. And that's all there is to it. You can see how little the thread shows in the finished hem, as well as how flat the edge sits, because the fine thread doesn't add extra bulk. As most hems have a curved edge, doing the hem in a two-step process keeps your hem even and consistent and eliminates any problems. These materials combined with these simple techniques are all you need for perfect professional hemming. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more great tips and tutorials. You can also leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you would like to let us know what video you'd like to see next. We'll see you all next time.